Hello and welcome back to our Evercon Legacy Let's Play Poorly. Uh, I am I am working with a, uh, a beta release, uh, version 2.0300, uh, which has a couple of little additions to it, which um, the dev mentioned to me. Uh, the, the one that's the most interesting uh, is going to be where we now get to see what our cargo is when we're using the tractor beam. Oh, hey, Dexatron is on. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to be doing some metal mining again. We're going to fill ourselves up with metal and see if we can build out this station a little bit more. Here and let's see what we what we get. Oh, look at that! That's a cool panel. All right, that's super useful. Very nice. Okay, but first we're gonna go ahead and put ourselves a probe in. I'm gonna try somewhere else. I like I said, I still need to get that scanner. That. Uh, uh, e e e e e targeting scanner. So that I can actually see what's on these asteroids before I start mining them. Uh, this is so much more helpful, I think, to me. Like, knowing what I'm pulling in is just really useful. Even if um, I'm not needing to curate what I collect right now. Oh, attack my target, attack hostiles. Oh, there must be one of those uh, glitches with my uh, my Hotas uh, sending phantom messages. Phantom, phantom uh, commands every once in a while. Seems to be happening. I think it's like power related, but it doesn't matter too much. Doesn't doesn't really interfere. Look at that, diamonds and platinum. A little bit of metal. I wish I had to get some more metal. Let's try another rock, maybe. Let's try this guy. And so that panel pops up only when you've got the tractor beam going, even if you're not actually uh, hitting anything with it. Oh, come on. There we go. Keep doing that. Yes, yeah, so that's really nice. About a minute, a little bit more than a minute for the cargo. So what we're going to do for right now, I think, best thing to do is to just go back, drop off those bits that I don't need, make sure I'm oriented the right way. Oh god, what happened to me there? What the heck? What the... 
Is that a thing now? Did I did I misread? Did I not read this in the email? Oh, I always find out. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And head back out. Yes! Holy McMoley, that's amazing. Oh, I hope that's a thing. I hope that wasn't just a glitch. I love it. Oh, that feels really good. If that's if that's real, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. Well, okay, the mining probe. Ten seconds. Let's, let's go. Let's go get that first. So what just happened there was I got uh, rotated around or yawed around to face the gate that I need to exit from, which. Um, it's not a fair comparison to say, oh, it's like Elite Dangerous. Uh, but it, it is effectively what it's doing is it's... it's The idea, it seems to be, of course, that you've got a... Uh, you've got an arm that or, or a platform that's moving in order to uh, prep your ship for departure, which feels like that, that's, that's very good. That's what you should do. Okay. There we go. Nice. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, if I just hit this, I can quickly look just at, just at that, or I could, of course, do this. So we got a bunch of diamond. Well, we still have the metal that we need. All right. Let's go sell some stuff. What? Ah, oh, because I'm stupid. Look what I did. I didn't even get my target yet. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Let's try this again. Oh, we gotta wait. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh. Weapon energy up. There we go. Crossing my fingers that that wasn't an error. It felt too smooth and too specific to be an error. I just didn't remember reading it in the email that he sent me about this. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I love it. Oh, that makes me happy. It's the little things. Okay, so we got a fair amount of metal now. What do we want to build? Oh, look at this! Look at me just going right out. Yes. Okay. So, let's take a look. What have I got? Storage. Living quarters. Shield. Power supply. Living quarters, horizontal beam thingy, and a production. So what else is there? When well, we got the weapon turrets up top too. So that's everything. Do we want to put another shield in maybe? Just to be safe? There's our turrets. Wonder how the shields work. I wonder if there's like placement stuff involved. Well. Oh, I don't want to go in. No, thank you. But, you know, appreciate the gesture. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead. Nope. No, no, no. All right, what is that? That's the product. Oh, that's the production. So let's unlock that. I don't want to put it. No, wait, what is that? Is that, st that my storage module? I think that's no. No, I don't know. I don't remember now. I mean, I was literally just looking at it. Yeah, that's my storage module. Okay, so yeah, let's put the shield next to the, on the storage module. Do we want to put it right there? 
Oh no. Well, I guess that's right. Huh. I guess that's right. It's not quite connected. But, as I understand, they don't need to be connected. It's just, you know, it would be nice if I could get that visual right. But, uh, if I, if I, maybe I just missed it or something. It doesn't matter. Or, or, or it could be that I was in the way. <laughs> Who's to say? Okay, but we got a shield. We got another shield module there. And we still have 75 metal plus 13. All right. Okay, well, I mean, that's, that's, that's a good start. I don't know if we need to, like, double up anything, what, what is necessary, what, what we need the production modules for. Uh, I'm guessing it may have an impact on the items that are available. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. All right. Cargo scanner. Yeah, none of the things that we really want are here. Which is the target, the target scanner is really what I want. All right, let's see what we got for contracts. Ooh, diamonds. Oh, I can do that. I can do that in my sleep now. Docking track gate disengaged. Mercenary spacecraft, you are clear to depart your gate one. Oh, that's so smooth. Just that, just being able to just accelerate out. Fantastic. find the nearest here we go all right let's actually go ahead and probe that and then pick another target how about that one for manual mining now we just need 25 diamonds which we're gonna get in a lickety split I'm pretty sure of all the places to build a station how about putting it in the asteroid field that doesn't have metal says a touching of an asteroid that now is nothing but metal awesome well hey you know there we go diamonds there we go that's what we want Once again, I do want to thank the dev for providing me with these betas. Uh, he even said this one's an unstable beta. I'm like, well, I don't care. Half of the games I play are alpha, are alpha and early access. I don't mind. I don't mind it if my uh, game explodes. I mean, it 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 might mess up my uh, my videos just a touch, but hey, I've been able to recover every time. I've you know, and I'm sure I'm sure the uh, audience understands. So, yeah. Unstable betas are my jam. These are great. These are great changes. I really appreciate that uh, he's continuing to improve and work on this. You know, improve this uh, this game well long after the the original development cycle was ended. I remember reading a. A comment that he wrote on his forum at one point, as uh, like a year and a half ago, two years, saying, "Evercron Legacy is now complete. I am not updating it anymore." <laughs> uh, yeah, look how that turned out. Actually, I think what he really said was, "I'm not making any more space games." And then he went ahead and released uh, Evercron on Android. Just uh, less than a month ago. I would love for there to be uh, a version of the game for iOS, but I imagine that the amount of work involved in porting that would be just ridiculous. 
But man, I would, uh, I would just go down that rabbit hole like nobody's business. Alright, I'm gonna stop there. We're gonna just go ahead and look for... Where's my mining guy? There's my mining probe. He's around here somewhere. He's gonna be... Gonna be glowy glowy. Well, not that it matters. There he is. I'm just gonna wait for 30 seconds. Because our, uh, our cargo is nearly full as it is. And I played uh, a, this first mission of Arvok Alliance, the uh, companion game to this that is uh, mission-based and uh, like Wing Commander style or Free Space 2 style in terms of how it plays, uh, those, you know, mission-based uh, linear campaigns. Um, played the first mission, put that into the Let's Play Briefly series. So if you haven't seen that yet, I do encourage you to check it out. But I'm, I'm also thinking I might at some point want to do that whole game in a series. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. Okay, well, we aren't going to be able to fill, fill that up. Or we're going to take all of it because we're, we're full now. So what we're going to do is finish off that mission. But yeah, so Arvok Alliance, the, the gameplay in terms of like the flight model and everything is virtually identical to this. But it's all missions, ba mission based. It's combat oriented completely. You're not. Uh, oh, come on! What are you doing, Kevin? Stop it! Start paying attention. Uh, all right, let's not go ramming right into those. How about that? Uh, oh yeah, gotta wait. So, so it basically plays like Free Space Two or a Wing Commander, and it is hard. It is a hard game, especially since the way the NPCs fight is it, they kind of expect you to not be jousting. They expect you to play like a like you know what you're doing. Um, so, so it's going to be a challenge if I ever do it. I look forward to it. And the nice thing about Arc Alliance is that you can even make your own missions. So you can create environments for you to go and fight in, like create, you know, parameters for who the enemies are and so forth. So that's pretty exciting. Contract objectives failed. How did they fail? What? Oh, maybe I went to the wrong place. Oh. Something happened. Did I not have enough diamond... Oh, maybe that was it. Maybe it was. Maybe did a diamond check, and if I didn't have enough, it failed me. Even though I could just go back out again. Um, I mean, I that's 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 fair. They're probably upset that I showed up without all the stuff, and they said, "Hey, what what, what what's going on? What are you doing?" Well, what I was doing is not paying attention. Uh, I probably should have dumped some of that stuff and gone back out and grabbed the rest of the cargo before I came in here. So, all right, uh, mobile solar array. Clear asteroids. Eh, not so great. All right, so let's uh, let's let's uh, head somewhere else. Actually, let me look. What is my metal level? Uh, one hundred sixty-four percent. I want to see if I can find a place to sell this metal because I don't necessarily need all this metal now that I'm not building station stuff at the moment. So let's go and get into quadrant mode, enlarge the map, and we're looking for where we can sell metal. So that's going to be what? Which one? Uh, metals is right down there. Okay. Where am I? My, I'm in Sapphire. Okay. So metal 
it's actually a decent price here, so yeah. Well, let's just find another station then. I mean, my station is fine, but I've been there a while, so. Let's go to Outpost 1 and whatever the heck that thing is. Go ahead and sell our metal. Cargo scanners. Cargo scanner, cargo scanner. No. Don't want that. Recover an item. Clean an array. Fill our fuel tank. Alright, let's go, uh, let's actually maybe go investigate, see what this station looks like. In terms of what kind of, uh, modules it has on it. So it looks like we got a, sh what is that? Is that a turret? Yeah, it's a turret out there, another turret there. That's a power supply. That's also a power supply. We got a whole bunch of turrets here. Production. Living. Living. It's gonna be another living quarters. Interesting. There's a horizontal. There's a, there's a lot of living quarters here. There's a shield. There's storage. Living quarters. Living. Eh, that's a lot of living space. Okay. I wonder what function those serve. I don't know. If any. If, if the numbers of them in in, uh, in this station. It's quite a lot. It's not critically necessary from what I can tell. You could build this many items without having all like, uh, that many a living crew, a living quarters. So, interesting. Okay. We got some good guys out here. Let's figure out what the heck this is. Where is that? Hopefully this doesn't get us killed. Oh, I don't want to dock. I want to go check out this funky ring thing. Oh. Interesting. It's just there. What the... Wait, what? The heck is that? So some weird glitch? That is freaky. Does it go anywhere? What is this? Just kinda... Oh no! Oh no. Okay, so that seems to me like there's supposed to be some kind of visual indicator that that's a big ass asteroid out there. But I don't I didn't see it. Yeah, it's black space. Okay. Interesting. We're going to we're going to go in and we're going to we're going to see what this is. The heck? The heck is this? And the real question is, am I ever going to be able to get back out again? Oh, 
Oh boy. This is kind of terrifying. Is that the back wall of this? Looks like. How am I going to get back out? I don't think I can make it through there. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. That is, that is not a path, clearly, right? Ain't no way. No, no. Yeah, cause I'm gonna, yeah, I'm hitting my, uh, hit my shield too easy. Okay, let's head back out. Sometimes in the deep, dark of space, there are terrors. That is one of them, surely. Or this, whatever I'm, whatever is happening out here. Oh, yikes! Oh no! Am I gonna get lost? I am gonna be. I'm gonna get totally lost. This way, this way. I think there's a headlight button, but I don't know what it is, and I don't want to look for it right now. But okay, so I can make it out of here. Something, something graphically is happening right when I, oh, nope, right when I uh, come across this threshold here. Right here, it switches to not having anything other than open space. But once you go inside, you get whatever that is. That is creepy! So there must be some big rock right here that I can't see for some reason. That's fascinating. All right, well. There's a planet. That's sapphire. Let's uh let's head over this away. And dock and end the episode. Still nothing I need there. Well, that'll be fine. Next time, I think we're gonna do some more just exploration, maybe, uh, to see if we can find more creepy ass things like that uh, that invisible mouth thing, um, the mouth with the rock behind it. Yeah. Wow, that was fun. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.